You are listening to the co-present on RadioMade.ie and we are here in Unit 1 Studios with uh, Voids from Galway. I just wanted to first ask Alison, I guess, can you tell us a little bit about how it was that you first came together and decided to start playing music? Yeah, well, um... I started going out with Andrew, I guess that's when the first thing happened. But uh, Andrew had been making music for a while and I started like singing a tune or whatever and then we like eventually... We got asked to do a gig. Yeah, we got asked to do a gig in the Town Hall Theatre. And like at that point we weren't voids, we were just making music, whatever. And so then we were just like, okay, so we'll have to like be a thing and come up with a name and stuff. Actually, we were called Ballas for that first gig. And then I was just like, we're not using this name. I always tell the story and it sounds really cheesy, but the name actually came to me in a dream. <laughs> I w- actually woke up one day and I was like, voice, oh, that sounds kind of cool. So then that was it, we were voice. When you were making music, did you always think that you were going to work with a female vocalist or were you just kind of playing music at home by yourself? Um, I didn't really, well, wasn't really entertaining the idea of working with a female vocalist at all, but when I was living over in London for a year, Alison was just starting to like dabble with some ideas, like writing her own stuff and coming up with ideas, and I really liked what she was doing. And then from that point, kind of had it in mind that we were going to try and make some stuff together or whatever. We just kind of kept going with it and yeah, it's great. Enough of the mushy shit. (laughs) (laughs) Last night I seen you playing live and on the stage and like you have a really minimalistic setup where it's just bass guitar and what seems like a suitcase full of distortion pedals and then you, Alison, have a... What is it you said? It's, it's a vocal effects pedal. It's called like a TC Helicon Voice Live Play. Uh, and it's, yeah, basically just a box with a load of effects and it. it's got a looper on it as well, which I don't really use that often. But uh, yeah, that's basically the setup. It's pretty, yeah, it is minimal. <laughs> play live to so many different kind of elements and different sounds and like there's so much going on there. Can you explain just a little bit about it? Well, I got a loop pedal and the second I got that I was just intrigued, just spent hours and hours making making loops just with a bass guitar. Now I've got a better loop pedal that has more capabilities. Also kind of built up uh, a collection of effects pedals. so. All the different sounds you hear are just variations of the bass guitar through different effects. Probably one of the first bands that we've had on the co-present is that it is not based in Dublin, you know, and uh, we don't really get a lot of people on the show that can talk about music scenes in other places. Galway, like, is somewhere like that, you know, I've lived before, and it seems to have a really booming electronic music scene. Um, yeah, the music scene in Galway is pretty good. There's a few people, friends of ours, like uh, Back to the Future, they put on regular nights, which is great. We have, like, guys like Welfare who put on, I can't remember what their night is called, but uh, get, like, quality producers and DJs down playing in places like Factory and the Beer House and yeah in terms of people making music I mean I think there's an incredible amount of people and talented people making music in Galway Jimmy the Hideous Penguin and the uh, lights of Flying Buttresses and Bitwise Operator and uh, Simon Matthews Ventil and Beckettite does some amazing stuff as well so there's loads of stuff to be inspired by and enough gigs and stuff to to stay ticking over i suppose yeah so ep is being mastered at the moment or it's on the way it's well actually it's finished but uh we're kind of looking for somebody to help us release it we had planned on releasing it ourselves before we finished it we were just like oh we'll stick it up on Bandcamp and be like hey guys we did this you know 
Uh, but then when we finished it, Lewis was just like, you know, this is really good. You should really make an effort to do as much as you can with it. Like if you just stuck it up yourselves on Bandcamp, like maybe a few, you know, your friends would hear it and a few hundred people would hear it and that would be it. It just kind of sink into the internet. It's the first thing we've made together and we put a lot of effort into it and we, you know, we feel we want to do it justice. Yeah, I definitely prefer the vocal than the other. On the previous one? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know anything. Alright. Let us know anything bad about that. Take it back. That was bad. Well done.